Okay, this is Diana's first time on the computer using Windows 8. What do you think of the login screen? It's taking a long time. It'll be slightly slower than the real thing. Because it's on a virtual computer rather than the real one. So that's the login screen. I don't know why they have to keep changing things all the time. You get used to something and then they change it. Why? Just improve the current thing instead of changing it all the time. Now what are you going to do? Well, I remember only because I remember you I told you, yeah. something about scrolling down. But how do we do Yeah, that's... Okay, you're going to log in? Okay, what's my password? We'll just type it in. What is your password? Look at look at the account. What would your password be? It's your email account. What's your email password? Oh, okay. What's your you don't <laughs> email password? Okay. Oh, it says I've entered it in wrong. Did you do a capital M? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, this is your own password. I thought you, you do told your emails. Me to, 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 Type in my email address. No, <laughs> your email address password. Okay, this is the home screen to yep. your computer. Yep. Um, so try and. I don't like the look of it. We'll try and check your emails without using an internet browser. So no Firefox, no Chrome. Mail, probably. And just note that everything is a bit slower. And there's your emails. Okay, good. Now get out of it. How do you do that? Um. Maybe that goes back. That's replying. That's deleting an email, don't do that. You just deleted a Windows 8 email, don't worry. How do you get out of this thing? <laughs> well, this is what people are going to do. When they get Windows 8, this is what's going to happen. Oh, what is it? Mark has read more, see? Oh, don't worry about that thing, that's just the virtual machine thing. Do you roll something? No. Oh, this is ridiculous. Control or delete? No, do don't I do, do that, no. Well, I don't know how to get out of it. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so this, this is what a computer just, user would do. I would just control or delete. Don't know. It's, it's just, there's no options. It's lost its options. What do you do? Try and put your cursor to a corner of a screen. There? What do you notice? Oh, it's gone though. What's there? Symbols. I don't know what those symbols are. It looks like hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. <laughs> oh, now I'm at this corner me. of the screen and that corner. Do I go back to start? I'm at that corner now. No, it's completely gone now. What's completely gone? Those hieroglyphics at the side. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. There they are. What, what one are you going to click? Start. That oh, gets you back to finally. that screen. So you oh, know how to get to that screen ridiculous. now. You want me to show you a faster way to do that? If you are in your emails like this, all you've got to do is press this button on the computer and it goes instantly to that screen. How would the regular person know how to do that? Because that's how the regular person opens their start menu in any earlier version of Windows. No, I'm just used to the current version and I don't want to be, get used to anything else. I like the current version. Okay, what if you wanted to check the weather? This looks cartoonish. I mean, it, it doesn't even look like an improvement on the last one. It looks like it's going back to What year the start. does it look like? It just looks like the first one ever and that all the others have been an improvement on this. Okay, so what, what's next? I said, check the weather. That thing. Was that simple? 
Yeah, but I don't normally check weather anyway. <laughs> Why would I want to check the weather? Okay, and so now that's I'm assuming Sydney. go down to this side thing for Yeah, the or you can just press the start on the keyboard. Okay, I'm back now. Yep. Okay. Now save a document. Um a Word document, well, I have a notepad or any text file, save it onto the computer. Basically, write. I don't even know how to open a text file. Make a text file and then save it. How do I make a text file? Let's say file? you wanted to make a note for yourself or something. Or you wanted to. Where's, where's the. Where's the what? Uh, I don't even know what it's called. I just know what it looks like on my normal screen. I don't know what it is. If you wanted to access your normal screen showing the desktop and everything, how would you access that? Is, isn't this the desktop? It's a desktop, but you can also access the desktop as it would have looked like in Windows 7. I'd rather that. How do I get there? How do you think? Wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> oh, desktop. Yeah. <laughs> Does that look very familiar to you? With the taskbar at the bottom? An icon, a recycle bin? Sort of. Do you like it? Well, it's better than the other silly cartoon thing. So but what are you going to click my now? My thing has lots of icons on it. This has nothing. Because it's a new installation. Nothing's been installed. Okay. Do you well, want an icon on it? Go on the internet and explore, what's install that thing? Firefox. File. Okay, here. File, and I'm going to. Open a new window. Wait a sec. No, I want to open a file. <laughs> Just write a text document. Where? <laughs> no, it's not an actual option on the screen. I'm just repeating the instruction. On your computer, would you know how to like do something yeah, such I as do. open Notepad and then save it? I don't even it? have to think about it on mine. This one, it just makes everything so difficult. Open a new. What? want me to open a stupid new window? I don't want to open a new window. I'm going to a file to open a document. Open a new document. Why does it want me to open a new window? That's stupid. File. Think of this as a Windows Explorer, right? So this is your Windows Explorer. So this is where you access all your files, right? So your documents and everything, but it's empty. So you've got no downloads, no documents, no pictures, no videos, no nothing. Mm-hmm. And there's your computer, and in fact, there's your laptop computer there. Yeah, fine. But where where do you open any programs? Let's say you want to open a Notepad program. Where is Notepad? Probably it would be in Documents, would it? Your Documents folder is empty. You don't have any documents. You need to write some by using Notepad. Well, where's Notepad? Well, you'd better find a place where you launch programs. This is a pr program where you find all your files, not programs. Mm. You liking it or not? Hate it. <laughs> no, forget that. Well, next, what about you open time. the start menu? Where is the start menu? Where's the start button? That's Internet Explorer. Congratulations. Well, at least that looks a little bit more familiar. Okay, now what do you want me to do? Well, let's say you wanted to download Firefox because you don't like Internet Explorer. Well, where's the normal Google thing? <laughs> you know how to access Google, right? Not on this thing. But this is just like a normal computer. What if I web search it up here? This is um, Bing search, which is Microsoft's Google search. So what am I looking up Google? Yes, that's what I want. Yep, I've got Google. Fine. But on my computer it comes up instantly. Oh, so you just turn your computer on and Google appears? No, I open up Mozilla Firefox from the icon. Mozilla. <laughs> it's Mozilla, not okay, Mozilla. Yep. What, what's next? Well, what did you want to download? I don't know. You I just told you, you wanted Firefox. Oh. So... How would you usually... Firefox installation, there we go. <laughs> yep, 
installing Firefox there. You'd go to that. Why? Well, no, that just tells you how to install Firefox. Seriously, you don't know how to actually download a program. But I've already got it on my computer. Why would I want to download it? <laughs> because you install Windows 8 on your computer and you I don't have Firefox. I would never be so stupid <laughs> as to install Windows 8 on my computer. After looking at it now, it's just stupidity. Well, try and get it. Well, Firefox. Try and get, but I don't want to. I want to walk back to my room and have my own computer. <laughs> there, look. Firefox download. Yeah, so... Great. Now, where's it downloaded to? Run. It's downloaded, Here. is it? Run. Do you like the way it shows how it's downloading? Do you like that? Or is that a bit complicated? No, that's fine. But I, I don't have to do this on my computer. It's already there. Yeah, but if you'd installed it on Windows 8, then it would already be there. So what do you rate Windows 8 so far? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? I hate it. It's a step backwards. I like when you get to learn how to do something and then... Look at the camera when you speak. I like when you, you learn how to do something and then you just build on that instead of scrapping it completely and then learning a whole new thing. What's the point of that? That's not an improvement. That's a step backwards. And the, even the home page looks just cartoonish and like it's it's one of the first windows out. My dad's, no, believe me, the first windows out. Because you said that, the no. next operating system you're going to try in a week from now will be Windows 1.01. <laughs> just because you said it looks like the first windows out. And you tell me if Windows 1.01 is easier to use than this. Probably would be. <laughs> By the way, my dad called it when he looked at it. He looked at the screen and he said it looks like an interactive play school website. Yeah, it does. It looks it's just it's cartoonish, it's childish, it's... I, I, it has no appeal. And what is the point hmm. of learning how to do something and then scrapping it completely and relearning new well, stuff? Well, what, what do you think about when you're using your phone, it's a completely different operating system, you can't have anything compatible with your phone and your computer. When you're using um, iPad, nothing's compatible with your iPad or, and your computer. What about if it's the same operating system on every single device you have? Meaning well, on I, your TV, on your iPad, on your iPhone, fine, everything. if they forced you to do that, fine, I'd just give up computers. <laughs> so you would not have this running on your no, computer no matter what? I would what. not have this running on my computer. Even if nothing was compatible anymore? Even if nothing's this. compatible, okay. So there we go. It's all it's all downloaded. How yeah. are you going to install it? Oh, okay. So this is the Mozilla Firefox setup wizard. So just next, 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 next install. Install. Finish. Okay, and it's going to launch. What's this now? I'll just click next, 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 like usual. And there's Firefox. Does that look normal to you? Sort of. So if you maximise this, does that look like your normal screen on your computer? Sort of. Now, if Firefox was closed, how would you open it? We'll You've installed it, it. Close it all. Oh, there, there it and is. there it is on your desktop. Yeah. Is that simple? Yeah, that's so cool. it doesn't seem too hard. But does it drive you nuts that if you look at the bottom here, there's no start button with the start menu that pops up? Yeah, I don't know. That's stupid. Because that's been replaced start. with this. And also, oh, all your apps, there's Firefox. Yeah. So do you like that or not? No. I hate it. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah, that I don't like it. Windows 8, and there's a camera for you. But this, it's not compatible with my camera. But there we go. Hate it. How much money would you pay right now if they said, we're going to install it on your computer, if you don't have it installed, you've got to pay a fine of $100. Would you pay the fine of $100? Pay, pay the fine of $100. <laughs> I've had enough of and it. And how much do you think they're saying that it costs to buy Windows 8 now? They should pay people for it. <laughs>
<laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so what operating system do you prefer to use? <laughs> Go away. What operating know. system do you prefer the to use? The one I'm used to. Well, what, what is what? that? The Windows 7. That'll do. You don't even use Windows 7. What do I use? <laughs> Seriously, you should know what Vista. you use. Vista. You don't, you hate Vista. Well, what do I use then? The XP. thing before Vista, well, yes, well, XP. that's fine. Just stay with 2001. it. 2001. Doesn't matter. I'm used to it. I know what to do. And that's it.